In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can use your Cricut cutting machine and Cricut design space to design designs to use with the We Are Memory Keepers button press. So in this case, I made this design in design space. And I used this cutout to make a button using the We Are Memory Keepers button press. So let's begin. My Cricut Design Space open. The first thing you want to do is I've, I'm in my canvas here. I'm going to come up here to the menu and I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to canvas. And I'm going to make sure the units are set to metric and then click done. Now the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create some templates for the different button sizes for the We Are Memory Keepers button press. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shape, I'm going to add a circle, and I am going to duplicate this. And there are three button sizes, so I'm going to duplicate this again, and I will duplicate it again. So I have a total of six circles. Now I want to size them according to the sizes of the We Are Memory Keepy button press. It will give you the sizes for the different sizes of the buttons. The smaller of the one is the actual real estate that is shown on the button itself. And the larger one is the size that the die that comes with each of the sets will cut out the circle in order to make the buttons. So what we're going to do here is we're going to duplicate these different sizes. So for the smaller button, it's a 25 millimeter and 35 millimeter. So I'm going to set that out of the way. And so I'm going to select this circle here and I'm going to set that to 2.5. So that represents the middle of the smallest button. And this circle here is 3.5. And that's the largest. So these are units are in centimeter. And the We Are Memory Keepers units are in millimeter. So now what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to select this. And the operation, I'm going to change this to a guide. And I'm going to change this to a guide. I'm going to select both of them together. I'm going to come up to a line. And I'm going to center. Then I'm going to right click. And I'm going to group it. So now we have the template for our small button prepared. And now we're going to do the same for the next. So this is 37 millimeters. So that is 3.7 centimeters and the outside is 49 millimeters so that is 4.9 centimeters and once again I'm going to change these two guides I'll select both of these and I'm going to align them center, right click, and I'm going to group them. So we've got our medium. Now for our largest one, this one is 58 millimeters, so that's 5.8 centimeters. And the outside is 70 millimeters, so that will be seven centimeters. Once again, I will change these to a guide. Select them both. I will align and center. Right click and group. So now we have got the different templates for the different size buttons. Now in our case, we're going to be making one of the bigger ones. So what I want to do 
is I want to come over here into my layers view and I am going to select the circle that is the outside circle. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to duplicate it. So this is the size that the die that comes with that set would cut out. But in this case, we're going to have our uh, Cricut actually cut this out. So this is what we're going to be using to go from. So now I'm going to bring in the image that I'm going to want to use on my button. So I'm going to come to Upload. And I've already selected the image that I would like, and I've already uploaded this to Design Space. So I'm going to add it to my canvas. Now I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to bring it to the front so that it will lay on the front. Now I'm going to resize my picture. So I'm going to just click on it, go into one of the corners to resize it to make it smaller until it's the size I want it to be. And then center the picture in where you're going to want it. Now I'm going to select them both. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select Slice. And then once it's sliced, I can start moving things out of the way. I don't need this one anymore. So I can just hit the Delete key. I don't need this one anymore, so I can just hit the Delete key again. And so here is the round sheet that normally we would have cut out with the die that comes with the We Are Memory Keepers button press. But in this case, as I said, we're going to have Cricut do this. Now this came in as a print to cut, and that's what we're going to want to do. But what I want to do is I want to add some text to the button. So I'm going to select my guide here. I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to bring it to the front. And I'm just going to overlay it. So now I want to make sure everything that is going to show on the button is within that inner circle here. So I'm going to click on the text icon. And the font I'm going to use is Alphalicious Short Stack. I will just type what I want. Okay, and I'm going to set the font size maybe to 12. Let's see what that looks like. See if we decrease the letter spacing. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, and so I'm going to select everything and I am going to align horizontally. I'm going to change the color of this to black. Okay, and I'll add some more text. And this time, I'm going to look up Cricut Sands. And I'm going to select Cricut Sands. And we'll set this to 12. And we'll set this color to yellow. Old. And once again, we'll select everything, align and center horizontally. Okay, and so I like that. Now we need to make everything a print and cut. So I am going to remove the guide and then I'm going to select everything and I'm going to flatten it 
And so now we're ready to do a print and cut. So we'll just go to make it. And continue. And I'll send to the printer. I'm going to use the system dialog. I'm going to go to print. Then I'm going to go to preferences for my printer and I'm going to set it for the highest quality standard. And then I'm going to click OK and send it to my printer. And this are, these are the different pieces that come with the We Are Men Memory Keepers button press. You've got the pieces that will make the 58 millimeter button, the 37 millimeter button, and the 25 millimeter button. And then you've also got the platform here, which you use the dies to cut out the circles to make your buttons. And so these are the dies. This one will cut out 70 millimeter circle to use with the 58 millimeter button. This one will cut a 49 millimeter circle, and this one will cut a 35 millimeter circle. In our case, we used our Cricut to actually cut out the circles for the buttons that we're going to make today. And so we are making some of the 58 millimeter buttons. Okay, so since we're going to be making the 58 millimeter one, we don't need the die. This is the part that goes on the top, and you'll see that it says top right on it, and there's a little slot that has a B, and what you're going to do is you're going to just slide that on like this, and it holds it with a button, and then you're going to start in the A position. So you're just going to turn this around until it says A here. And maybe tilt this up so you can see it a little better. You'll see that that says A. This is the bottom or the base. You'll notice it says base right on it. And you're going to just slide that with the open part on the top. Slide that on the bottom here until it clicks into place. And then you're going to turn it until the A is matching the arrow down here. And I'll tilt this up a little bit so that maybe you can see that better. And so this is how we are going to start. Okay, and you're going to start by putting the base. It's kind of like a little dome base here. And you're going to just slide that into the opening here. And you'll notice there are two little ridges here on the side. That's telling you which direction the button needs to be facing. So the next step now is that we're going to put our pattern here and we are going to line it up. Again here are the two little marks that are not noting the direction that uh, the button is going to be facing. And then we are also going to take out one of the little plastic pieces here. Take out one piece and just slip it on top. Once again, these are our little bases here that we're lining everything up with. Okay, and then once you've got everything set in, you just slide this arm carefully back underneath. You want to make sure that both are firmly in the A. And then you're going to just take the handle and push it down very firmly. And then you're going to slide this back out. And you'll notice it's now empty. And the top part is up in the top here. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to turn these both back to B. So now the B is lined up with the arrow 
And the same with this over here. We'll move this over so the B lines up with the arrow. And now we'll take the pin back. You've got the back side of the pin back, and this is the side with the pin on it. So this is going to go down. So this is the back side of it. This is the side that actually is going to pin onto whatever you're pinning the badge onto, or the button. And so you wanna make sure that this is not poking up. You wanna make sure that it's down and sitting flat against that. And then you're going to Put this in here, and once again, you're gonna look at the two little notches, which are right here. So you want to line this up with the two little notches. Make sure they're both firmly on B, which they are. Going to carefully slide this back. And I always like to make sure they're firmly on B. And then once again, you're going to press down. And then when you slide it out, this is your button with the pin on the back.